It is truly an honor and quite humbling to be here today, surrounded by my family, fellow honorees, and respected administrators from Sacramento County. As I thought about what to say tonight, I thought about my journey as an educator and what inspired me. And that was a very complicated question because it's not just one thing. I don't think it's one thing for any of us. My inspiration began with the teachers that I had growing up, my parents, my family, and my friends who helped shape my views and philosophy of education and learning. Some of my experiences were inspirational and empowering, and some were discouraging and at times disappointing. The impact of both types of experiences helped shape all of us as we continue to grow in our profession and as people. Whatever grade or subject we teach, we are creating experiences and opportunities for every student in our class throughout the years to become lifelong learners. And now we are inspiring them, and that is a powerful thing. As a teacher, I have academic standards I'm required to teach and goals that need to be met for every student. But more importantly, I have a classroom full of 24 little human beings who are in my care every single day, ready to learn and grow alongside me. At this point in my journey, it is my students who inspire me most. I see learning through their eyes as they see it through mine. When the whole class cheers because Jacob is now a member of the 100 Club, that inspires me. When Emma picks up a book every day during choice time because she wants to be a word detective just like Mrs. Wright, that inspires me. That one little girl who always gives her classmates a high five and a good job for encouragement inspires me. And that one student who projects his voice above all others during a song with all the enthusiasm of the opera singer, <laughs> that inspires me. The boy who puts his arm around his friend who's crying and whispers kind words inspires me and humbles me. Inspiration is in the smallest of things we do and in the biggest of things. It's a balance of academics, character education, and community support at all of our schools. We teach each other, we learn from each other, we inspire each other, and we grow together. That's why I do what I do. That's why we do what we do. That is the beauty of our journey as an educator and a gift. Thank you so much.